Hello, today we're going to talk about lesson two, four, variable on both sides. Uh, that you'll find that in your book, uh, page 97 to 102. Let's get started. All right, so our first objective is to solve an equation with a variable on both sides. This is a pretty basic example, okay? Uh, as easy as it gets, call these level one problems. The only rule that I have for myself when I'm solving these problems is I want to make sure, or I try anyway, when I make my first move with the variables to keep that variable term positive. So instead of subtracting 5k from both sides, I'm going to subtract 3k from both sides. All right, and I do the math there. And then uh, now I have to move this constant away from the variable term, so I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. And I'm left with that. One more move, divide both sides by 2, and I'm left with k equals negative 4. All right, so again, pretty basic uh, example. Uh, what I'd like you to do right now is try these two problems. So pause your video and give these two a shot. All right, let's move on. So objective 2, solving an equation with grouping symbols. Now this isn't much different than what we just saw. The only th added thing we're going to have to do to this problem is we're going to distribute uh, to remove the parentheses before we do anything else. Okay, And you'll see that once we distribute, it's going to look just like example 1. Okay, So let's take a look. Uh, 1 third of 18 is 6. 1 third of 12 is 4. So I'm going to have 6 plus 4q. And 6 times 2 is 12. And 6 times 7 is 42. All right, no negatives to distribute here, so nothing to worry about with the signs, but that can come into play, so you got to be careful. All right, and again, this is now that variable on both sides that we just saw in the last problem. I'm going to subtract 4q because I want that uh, variable term to be positive. Again, that's just my personal preference. So I subtract 4q from both sides. Uh, 12 minus 4 is 8q. All right. Uh, now I have to move this 42 over here, so I'm going to add 42 to both sides to get it away from the 8q. And that leaves me with 48 equals 8q, divide both sides by 8. And bam, we have 6 for the value of q. All right, let's take a look at uh, some problems I want you to try. So I want you to try these two problems. Again, uh, distributing, uh, be careful with 2b. Uh, there is a negative, so you're going to distribute negative 2 to the 3 and negative 2 to the positive n, which will change the sign. Uh, so keep that in mind. All right. Uh, pause it and get started. All right, let's move on. Uh, now, example 3 are this, these types of examples, the special cases. So there's nothing different, no rule changes. The only thing we're looking for, and we've seen this earlier in the in chapter 1 with identities and problems with no solution. If you get to a point in the problem where you have, for example, a constant 5 equals negative 12, which is not true. Okay, This would be a no solution case. And if you get to the point in the problem where you see this, 6b minus 10 equals 6b minus 10, that is the identity. Or if you have to continue even farther to get 0 equals 0, that is always true. Uh, so this would be an identity or all real solutions. All right, So we want to be able to identify through algebra when we're solving an equation when we get to a no solution problem or an infinite number of solutions or an identity. All right? And I'd like you to try these two problems as well. Okay, each of these is a special case. Take it all the way till you can see it's a, it's a, it's either an identity or no solution. All right? So what you're going to show to me tomorrow are these six problems. All right? So I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.